Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you these vibes. I think it is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like an infinity sign. So I was inspired by Shanik So to do this. I saw in her recent period cut video that she had a makeup look that was very similar but with green and yellow and I was so inspired that I just had to try it out myself and I have a lot of pinks and purples so we kind of went with it and I think it is so pretty so if you'd like to see how I got this look then just keep watching okay so I did already moisturize with the Paracone MD face finishing moisturizer I got a little sample from Sephora and then also the Paracone MD Firming Eye Cream. I use that as well. And we're gonna move straight into eyes. I'm priming with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is my first time using it. I'm using the shade Almond. And I am putting that on my eyelids. And I am gonna put a little bit under my eyes as well. And then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Just setting my lid with some setting powder. Do you wanna say hi? The first thing I am using is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm using the shade Amethyst. We're gonna buff that into the crease. Now I'm gonna do one eye at a time. We're doing one eye pink, one eye purple, and then the lower lash line is gonna be the opposite color. Okay. And then I am going to take the Shanixo BH Cosmetics Remax palette and we're going to put that in the crease a little bit lower. Okay, and then in with that clean brush we used for the translucent powder. And a little bit with that first brush. And then I'm taking this Morphe 35T palette and I am gonna go in with this color and this color. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I'm also gonna put a little bit in the inner corner. Now I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a halo. I'm gonna bring it up pretty high. Maybe about here. And I'm going to use the glitter glue as a primer for my uh, glitter. Today I'm using the NYX pigment in the shade Potion. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna dip into that glitter. And I do like to take the sifter out. You're gonna tap off the excess. I'm not gonna wet my brush. And I'm gonna put this right where, whoo, right where the glitter glue is. Woo! Yes. I am gonna grab that same kind of tapered brush, that dark shade from the 35T palette, and I'm going to start to blend that. And then again with that one that we used with the translucent powder. And then we're just going to go back and forth until we have the intensity that we want. I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take this color here and I'm going to put that on my lid. Then with that same tapered brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this really dark chocolatey brown color. And I am going to put that on the outer lid. 
And I'm gonna throw a little bit in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna do the other eye and I'm going to do the other eye pink. First one I am using is this Kylie Cosmetics blush. I'm going in with the Morphe M518 brush and this is the color Virginity. And I'm going to put that in my crease and buff it nice and high. And again, we're going all the way from inner to outer corner. Okay, that's pretty good. Then I am gonna take this Morphe brush I also got in that set, does not have a name on it. And I'm gonna take that on the Shanoxo Remix palette with this baby girl color. And I'm gonna buff that lower in the crease. And then back in with that first brush, just to blend everything out. I think I'm gonna take like a deeper red shade. So from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this shade here. And I'm just gonna try to deepen up the outer edge a little bit, yeah. That's what I needed. Just a little bit of depth in there. Okay, and then back in with that bright shade from the Shanoxo palette. I just wanna make this brighter, but I wanted it to be darker first. So I'm just gonna grab that shade and just make it nice and nice and bright pink. And then I'm gonna take that blush again, the Kylie Cosmetics one, and we're just gonna make sure that all blends together. Now I'm gonna be taking the Laura Lee Los Angeles Animal Party Palette. And I know that there's a lot of controversy about Laura Lee right now going on in the beauty community, but honestly, I don't have a hot pink like this, so I'm going to use it. So, we are going to go in with the uh, Naked 3 brush from Urban Decay, and we're going to go in with Bottoms Up. And I am going to wet my brush. And we're gonna put that on our lid in the same place we put the glitter on the other side. I'm gonna take a little bit of that red shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're gonna blend this out. And then again with that pink brush that we used for the Shanoxo palette gonna make sure that it's nice and bright and blend. what we're looking like. I am gonna do my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I will be back and we'll do the face and then the lower lash line. Okay so we're gonna move on to face. For primer I'm just gonna be using the NYX pore filler primer and I'm gonna be putting that in my t-zone where my pores are the largest. Then for foundation, I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in Light 6-0. 
And I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade L90, Classic Beige. I'm actually using this little Real Techniques foundation applicator. It's like one of those silicone things. So I wanted to try this. And I'm just gonna mix those foundations on the back of my hand and then dab it on my face and then see how this applicator works. No, I don't like that. Beauty Blender. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know. If you like it, let me know how you use it. It's usually personal preference. And then I'm gonna use that same Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Almond. And I'm gonna use that under my eyes, on my forehead, down the center of my nose, under my nose, and on my Cupid's bow. And then for my breakout and my chin, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. And I'm using the shade Fair on my chin and the shade Light on my forehead. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. To set that, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. I've said it before, but I just love this stuff for a drugstore powder. Bomb. Concealer is nice. How smooth my under eyes look. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25 with the Morphe E41. For contour, I'm using my very well-loved NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm taking this shade right here and I'm going to bronze up my face. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to lower lash line. So let's zoom you in. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna be doing like the opposite. So I'm gonna do purple under this eye and pink under this eye. So I'm gonna start with the purple, this amethyst shade with a Morphe E18. And I'm gonna buff that pretty far under the crease. I'm gonna take those two purple shades from this Morphe palette, this one and this one, and I'm gonna put that really close to the lower lash line. Before I blend that out, I am gonna put on a little bit of this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely turn on waterproof eyeliner in Purple Blaze. And I'm gonna put that on my waterline. And then I'm gonna blend that in using a Morphe E36 and that color from the Shan XO palette called Lover. And I'm gonna blend those darker colors in with that bright color. Okay, so for the pink side, I cleaned off my E18 brush and I'm gonna use that virginity shade and I'm gonna put that under the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that same aesthetics brush and that red color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm gonna get that really close to my lower lash line. I'm gonna take an e a clean E36 and this hot pink shade from the Shan XO palette and we're gonna blend that pink out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go put on a little bit of liner and some lashes, and I'll be right back. 
So now we're gonna go back to face. I am gonna brighten underneath my eyes with the NYX Contour Kit and I'm taking these two light shades right here and I'm gonna put that under my eyes. And on my nose. A little on the forehead. And we're gonna blend that with a dual fiber brush. I'm gonna be using the Note Cosmetics Desert Rose blush. It's a very natural blush. And I'm using that with my Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush. And again, I'm gonna blend that out with my dual fiber brush. For highlight, I'm going to be mixing the, can you see it, Nicole Guerrero kit. I'm going to be using this shade here. It has a little bit of a blue tint to it. And then I'm going to be mixing that with the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl. Looks like this. So the Nicole Guerrero one has a bit of like a bluish purple tint and the Physician's Formula has a pink tint. So I'm gonna kind of mix the two today. And I'm gonna be taking that on my Mint Pear Rounded Soft Blend M64 brush. And then I'm gonna take the Sigma E32 Exact Blend with those same two colors and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and along the brow bone. Now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. To line my lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Lip Liner in Candy K. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using the Jouer Lip Cream in Melon. And then on top of that, I'm using the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte lipstick in Me So Pretty. I'm just going to put that right in the center and blend it out with my finger. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love it. I think it's so cool. I want to do it with like different colors, like maybe blue and green or something like that. Look how pretty. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you like these bright colorful looks or if you like my more wearable looks. I think this is so pretty. And these lashes, girl, I'm like dying. I can't. They are so pretty. These lily lashes really are like worth the money. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload, please hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Well, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. shade. Dang it, that was so deep. Oh, hold on. Oh, man. I'm gonna do a wing today. I'm just gonna put a black line and then I am using... Did you guys see that? Oh my god.